Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we arrived here to Pride Lands, the one and only Pride Lands from, of course, the Lion King, and we are indeed a lion. In this episode, we're gonna go find Simba, dude. So, let's continue through the wasteland. Right off the bat, we're gonna be met by a, uh, a few aerial knockers and the most dangerous enemy that we've encountered so far in the game, which is the Living Bone Heartless, which, as you can see, do a tremendous amount of damage. If you are able to use the Rodeo Command, Reaction Command, I highly recommend doing it. Unfortunately, every single time that I've tried, there we go. Every single time that I tried to do it, it did not work. The reason why you wanna do that is because it will actually kill a ton of Heartless that are around it, as well as using, uh, uh, killing itself when you're able to use Grand Cross. That is why it's so important to use Rodeo on those. You can literally end their lives super, super quickly. So right here, we're just gonna focus on killing these, and then we will go ahead and do damage against, uh, the, or, uh, end up getting this item, I should say. Which is, if I'm not mistaken, it is a Serenity Gem? I'm not entirely sure now. Let's see. Mithril Shard. The Serenity Gym, then, is right up here, around the corner. We can go ahead and defeat these Aerial Nakas. Uh, I just love that name. I just think it's a funny, funny, funny name. Uh, Rapid Blow is super, super useful to quickly and easily destroy all enemies in an area when those Aerial Knockers are with you. Right here, Serenity Gym. See, I knew it. I wasn't wrong. Right there, we got the another Daylight Puzzle piece, so we are full up on those. And, unfortunately, right here, we actually are in uh, a little bit of a situation. We actually have two, uh, but luckily I was able to get Rodeo, and we were able to, of course, be able to take uh, two of them down just because we were able to use one to use Rodeo, which is super useful. And we were able to get a Frost Crystal, and right here, we can pick up a Mithril Stone. Be afraid of Living Bones, guys. Be afraid. They can kill you so fast on critical. So right here, we find ourselves in the jungle, which means that we are getting very close to our one and only friend, Simba, who used to be a summon for us. Right there, we got a Serenity Crystal. Yet again, wonderful for synthesizing. A Serenity Gem. Oh my god, we're getting so many. So right here, we actually want to jump off and uh, see if we can... There we go. And we were able to get a daylight, daylight puzzle piece. So right here is not a living bone. This is actually a little bit different than that. This is a living bone, but with a monkey attached to it, which uh, is kind of strange. It's actually less dangerous, I think, than an actual living bone. Uh, and I can kind of tell you why right after we kill these. So let's go ahead and open this up, and this will be a mithril stone. Uh, so those are called shaman. Uh, they're a little bit different, so they do mount the living bone, but the living bone won't actually attack as much as the shaman will, who will pretty much, for the most part, just use fire-based attacks to hurt you. Um, it's, again, it can be a problem. Uh, I just, well, as I say that, I'm gonna get killed. So he does do the little flashy spin thing, but I just, I honestly think the living bones are far, far worse. Now, of course, you don't get rodeo, uh, as a reaction command, so you can't deal with them in that way, but that's fine. All right, we're getting a ton of items from this, so this is, area is entirely clear. Let's proceed. It's me, Sora. Donald and Goofy are here too. Sora, Donald, Goofy. Oh. <laughs> what happened to you? Timon! Pumba! Something must have happened in the jungle. I have to go help my friends. Okay, we'll back you up. You know, I gotta say, I don't mind his voice actor in this Man. game at all. It's pretty damn good. So right there we get an Oasis map, because we are here in the Oasis. And of course a save point! Super, super, super valuable save point. Uh, right here we can grab another item, which is going to be a Torn Pages. 
is. Ooh, we haven't actually gotten one of those in quite a while, so I'm glad that we were able to get one now. Right here, we can grab a AP boost. Now, this is going to be a little challenging, but if I remember correctly, we can actually get this puzzle piece uh, right here and right now. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, nope. Hang on. There is a way to grab this, and uh, I think it's... I think we should. I think we should try... Ah, so close. We almost got it. We almost got it. Oh my god, come on, we can do this. So you just have to kind of dash around and like... There we go, we got it. So you have to dash and like kind of not swing your sword at all. But we were able to get it. It's it's really difficult to do, so it took utmost concentration. Alright, so right here we can go to this area and we can actually buy uh, the Lord's Broom. We can buy this, uh, and I, I highly recommend that. And also the Dream Cloud, which we should absolutely buy as well. Both of those are going to be pretty substantial upgrades for our dear friends there. So let's actually go ahead and give him the Lord's Broom. As you can see, it'll give him just more magic, which is perfect. Goofy, it will give uh, Dream Cloud, which will just give him higher strength. Highly, highly recommend doing those. We can also drop off our synthesizing items and see what we can get here. We got a defense boost. Uh, and a Serenity Gem and another Defense Boost, all from being able to drop those off, which is super useful. Uh, and of course, a save point. Alright, so we're saved, so now we can continue out of the Oasis. But first, let's talk to you. It sounds like Simba's friends are in trouble. This may be a new enemy. Let's go after Simba. I wonder with what that scream was. It came from the jungle. Let's head into the jungle. <laughs> Simba, wait! It's Nala! Don't you recognize her? Nala? It's me, Simba! Simba! You are alive! Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Don't worry. They're all friends of mine. So that means nobody's planning to eat anybody else for lunch, right? Are you sure they don't want to eat me? Like I'm some kind of pig? We won't, but you are a pig, right? Call me Mr. Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Could you guys excuse us for a few minutes? Why am I not surprised? Simba? You've got to come back to Pride Rock. I thought Sora might be able to help, but you're the only one who can save us from Scar. I can't go back. Why? Hakuna Matata. It's something I learned out here. Sometimes bad things happen, and there's nothing you can do about it. Simba? Hakuna? Matata! Hakuna? Matata! He's not the Simba I remember. Something about Hakuna Matata. Something about Hakuna Matata. Nala wants to be left alone. Why don't you go cheer up Simba? Hakuna Matata, you understand, don't you guys? Yeah, kinda. Why doesn't Nala like Hakuna Matata? It's a wonderful phrase. It means no worries, no cares. Live for today. All right, let's talk to Simba, see what's going on. My father's dead, and it's because of me. It's my fault. I can't go back. It won't change anything.
Look at the stars. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. So whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you, and so will I. Father, are you there? Simba, you have forgotten who you are. You must take your place in the circle of life. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. Remember who you are. You can all come out now. I'm going back to face my past. I could use your help. He really is a king. The Circle of Life has great strength, increasing MP restoration speed by 25% after MP is consumed. That is super, super useful. And Simba will join the party. We're going to leave uh, Donald with us, and we're going to have Simba. Uh, so right off the bat, let's go and finally equip a new, a new Keyblade, and we're going to equip the Circle of Life. Has great strength and increases MP. That's so good, so useful. Uh, and I believe if we can look at Simba and see that he has a ton of different abilities, uh, including Healing Herb, which will restore the party's HP using the powers of nature, uh, Ground Shaker, and Fierce Claw, and of course King's Pride, a limit command that unleashes Simba and Sora's joint attack Wildcat, which is super, super strong. So now we have, uh, Simba with us, let's go ahead and save the game. And we want to head all the way back to... Pride Rock, basically. Now, luckily for us, there's really only one path, so why don't we go through there? Luckily for us, Sora did just level up, which is gnarly. Let's continue all the way down to where we need to go. Now, you'll notice that these shaman right here actually are here, but they're actually not on living bones, which is good for us. Uh, that actually means that we can kill them a lot faster. All right, so I cut ahead a little bit there because all we did was just run around, and we killed these shamans so fast. You really don't need to worry about them uh, anymore. Wildebeest Valley, let's head in. Right off the bat, we are going to continue, and we are going to be charged by uh, another, uh, this time a shaman that is on a living bone. But with Circle of Life and Simba, we're just going to be doing so much damage now, so much DPS, that we can literally just kill things before it's even a problem. Uh, especially because not only do we have Simba, but again, we have the Circle of Life as well. And you can see how quickly we actually just tear through the HP of the Shaman. The Shaman that otherwise, uh, if you have time to, if they have time to set up, will ruin your day. We can just kind of chew through them. Look at that. We already chewed one, and now we're moving on to the one that's mounted the Living Bone. Just like that. And already, it's dead. Donald leveled up again. His strength and defense increased. Always good. Let's head to the Savannah. Wait a minute, we're gonna fight your uncle for this? Yes, Timon. This is my home. Simba, you're alive. This kingdom doesn't belong to you. Simba's the rightful king. The choice is yours, Scar. Either step down or fight. Must this all end in violence? I'd hate to be responsible for the death of a family member, Simba. I've put the past behind me. But what about your faithful subjects, have they? Simba, what's he talking about? Go on, tell them who's responsible for Mufasa's death. I am. <gasps> he admits it, murderer. 
If it weren't for you, Mufasa would still be alive. Do you deny it? No, but it was an accident. You're in trouble again, but this time, Daddy isn't here to save you. And now, everyone knows why. <laughs> now, this looks familiar. I think I've seen this before. Oh, yes. I remember. This is just the way your father looked before he died. And here's my little secret. I killed Mufasa. Murderer! Tell them the truth! All right, all right. I did it. Louder! I killed Mufasa! <laughs> Simba, you get Scar. We'll handle these guys. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. So now Simba's going to leave and we're going to have a boss fight against Ed, ba Bonsai, and Shinzai. And actually, it's not hard. So we're going to head, uh, we could save if you so choose, but we're going to actually just head right on into here to follow Timon and Pumbaa. Fight the hyenas while protecting Pumbaa and Timon. So all you have to do, this is actually a pretty easy battle, is just focus on one, wait for them to actually call for help, and then we'll actually run over to Timon or Pumbaa. Uh, so we'll call them over real quick. And then as soon as they are ready and need it, we will uh, we will actually be able to do this. So right there, we actually defeated one, uh, and then we can lay into the other one. Again, this is really how easy it is. Uh, we will cure just because we can, and then we will go ahead and see if we can use this to uh, save Timon and Pumbaa. And again, you all you have to do is, uh, is just call them over as you lay into one. Once one is out of the fight, it is an incredibly easy battle. You just can't let Sim Timon or Pumbaa take too much damage. And as, as long as you don't, you'll be fine. So we have two down, so now we just need to focus this third one, and it's not going to be a problem at all. Unfortunately, this looks like it might be Shanzai? Shanzi? I believe so. And down they go. Maximum HP increase for both Sora and Donald. Goofy learn Lucky Lucky. Easy boss fight. Where's Simba? He went up there. All right, well, we find ourselves here. Looks like we could go back outside or we can come up here and talk to, to uh, uh, Pumba. Simba chased after Scar toward the peak up above. This is the grand finale. Go cheer Simba on. We can talk to Timon. If Scar's alone, I'm sure Simba can handle it, but who knows what he has planned. Please, Sora, go make sure Simba's all right. And Nala. Simba, you have to beat Scar. Please save our kingdom. So let's go up here, and first of all, let's go grab this beautiful... Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I want this. I want this. There we go. We got another daylight puzzle piece. Let's head to the peak. This is his fight, Donald. Okay. Oh, that was just a sneak preview. Cause this ain't over. Oh, not by a long shot. Anger and jealousy turned the King of Pride Rock into a heartless. Oh, your kingdom's gonna rise again. But this time, as the Pride Lands of Darkness. That's what you think. 
And now we get to face Scar himself, the Kingslayer, the person that murdered Mufasa. We, he is going to attack insanely, insanely fast. Uh, right now, though, is a perfect time to just lay into him and see if you can get some of that early damage. Watch your health the entire time. Try to use items and try to save your MP for when you can use limit gauges. When Scar does this, he'll actually jump on top of you, and you do have the ability to use the reaction command counter. That will do some damage, it'll also knock him off. Uh, which is what you need to do or else he's going to shred you. At this point, he's going to be running around and leaving these big puddles of fire on the ground jumping at us, and we just need to stay on top of him as much as possible. Uh, eventually, he's going to be like, oh, I need to take a breath, and we can hit him a couple of times. Right now was a perfect time, and it's uh, kind of okay. Now, we will be needing to use our limit command, our one with uh, with Simba, as soon as we possibly have that up and uh, available for us. So right now, he has this lightning around it. It's super annoying. It's going to knock you back every so often. Uh, you could use Reflect, but right now, we are going to use the Wildcat Limit Command and just shred into Scar's health. I mean, this does so much damage. We'll probably be able to bring him down into his final health bar, or that's close enough. I'll take that. And then we can put him into an aerial combo, combo and keep him busy uh, for a very, very long time. Right there, I meant to use an Aether, but I accidentally used the High Potion instead, which is unfortunate. Now, this is when Scar is going to do a ton of damage, a metric ton. He turns into the dark version of himself and is going to do so, so much damage. Now, I'm trying to use my limit command because I'm I'm kind of dumb. Uh, it took me a second to realize, oh, right, I don't have Simba up. Oh, right, I just used all of my MP on Cure. All right, let's lay back into him. He has less than half of his final health bar left. He's going to go through the phases yet again, just like he did. Uh, and the fight just pretty much repeats itself and then we can lay into him and goodbye Scar. Maximum MP increase for Sora, Donald has fire boost and Sora also got, or Dagoofy also got some stat bonuses. What's with the light show? We have to say goodbye for a little while. I'll go tell Simba. Oh, he's probably busy. Just tell him we'll be back soon. Oh, that's right. He's king now. He's gonna be so busy, he'll probably forget about his two best buddies. Well, you always got Hakuna Matata, right? Yes, so. What do you mean, yes, so? And what if he forgets to tell the carnivores who we are? <laughs> One look at you, and you're a pig roast! That's Mr. Pig Roast. Same thing! And I'm not sticking around to be anybody's pork dinner! Boomba! You can never forget your true buddies. And we get a fire element. Flames appear and revol revolve around you. So basically, we have Fyra now. And Pride Land is complete. Ish. A new episode was added to Olympus Coliseum. That is the Cerberus Cup, which I actually don't recommend tackling anytime soon. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is, while we do have a 
another torn page, so we could go visit Pooh Bear. But instead, the next episode, we're going to head to Twilight Town. Battle level 28 worlds, we're about level 27. I think that's going to be our next book call. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I did. That Scar fight is always a ton of fun. Showing up on screen right now is some links that you can click to be able to uh, watch more stuff. And including a Patreon button for just a dollar a month, you can get early access to videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, never give up. Never surrender to the King Murderer. I said that in the last episode, kind of. Okay, bye.